Hello friends, this video on number system part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay. Let's discuss pi. Pi is a real number. In fact, a irrational number. It is a special number. Pi has a value. We have shown you 3.141592653. Three, five. Let's continue. Eight, nine. Let's continue. This is the value of pi. And please note, I explained pi is not equal to root two by seven. Pi is not equal to three point one four because these are all rational numbers and pi is irrational. Number. Just for our convenience, we have we assume pi is twenty two by seven. Pi is nothing but circumference. By a diameter of a circle, right? Because circumference is two pi r, that is pi into two r, that is pi into diameter. So this is the value of pi. And if you see the history of this pi, Archimedes, he was the first to compute decimal. Expansion of pi. How will you compute? You take any circle, find the measure the diameter, measure the circumference, divide these numbers, and you'll get the value of pi. Right? You measure this this length, this length, divide, and you'll get pi. So Archimedes was the first one to compute the decimal expansion of pi. And actually, if you see that in the current world. With the advancement in computer technologies, the value of pi has been computed till almost one trillion, one trillion, not even billion, one trillion decimal place. So, with the advancement in technologies, with hi-fi processors, the value of pi has been computed till one trillion decimal places using high-speed computers. Okay. But it is found that even with one trillion number, it is still a non-repeating, sorry, no uh, repeating non-terminating number, and that is why it is irrational number. Okay, non-repeating, non-terminating. This non-repeating and non-terminating. Let's take some numerical. Find the irrational number between one by seven and two by seven. So let's see the value of one by seven. In fact, one by seven we have seen. We have done one numerical for one by seven. We can actually go back to the numerical and see the value of this. This is the value of one by seven. Zero point one four two eight five seven. We have done this, and two by seven also you can actually calculate. That will be point two eight five seven one. Okay, that means even if you take a rational number of this, approximately this will be approximately one point point four three. And this will be approximately 0.286 let's suppose. Correct? I'm just taking a prox value. So we have to find irrational number between these two numbers. And we have seen that between two rational numbers, there are infinite number of rational numbers. Same thing between two rational numbers also, there are infinite number of irrational numbers. For example, one number can be 0 0.15 and then you can have any list. You can have any list. Right? If you see, there is no repeating. Or another number can be 0 0.16, some number.
right? Any any sequence, it is not repeating. Or you can have zero point one seven and some number. These will all be irrational numbers. So you can have an infinite number of irrational number between these two points. But for exam perspective, we can just write two irrational numbers. So we have to write in the decimal form thirty six by hundred. 1 by 11 and 4 1 by 8. See 36 by 100 I can easily write as 0 0.36 and 0 0.36 if you see is a terminating and non-repeating. That means it is a rational number and thus it is a rational number. We have known that. Okay, the next is 1 by 11. So let's do that. Point, and then you get one more zero. So you get 100, and you get 9, 99, and then again, uh, yeah, 99. Then again a zero, and then again a nine, ninety-nine, again one. Again you have to put a zero here, so to get hundred. Okay, so it is something like this. It is a non-terminating, but it is a repeating. You see, point zero nine is repeating. So it is non-terminating. And repeating decimal. I can write as 0 0.09 with a bar. Okay. The next is 4 1 by 8. 4, you can just keep it as it is. 1 by 8, or what you can do is you can write 4 1 by 8 as 8 into 4 32 plus 1 33 by 8. So let's divide. 4, 32, 1, I can't divide, put a dot, you get a 0 here, 8 into 1, 8, 20, 8 into 2 is 16, 40, 8 into 5 is 40, and 40 will be cancelled. So you get 4.125, this is 4.125 and this is 0 0.09. Bye. So 4.125 if you see is again a terminating and non-repeating. And that is a decimal expression. Let's try it for a few more. I'll not solve these for you. I'll give it as an exercise. You can easily do that. These are all, if you see rational numbers, so either you will get a repeating, non-terminating, or you will get terminating decimals. Okay. You know that 1 by 7 is 0.142857. In fact, we have done this 1 by 7 exercise. It's a terminating, sorry, non terminating repeating. You see, there's a repeat. This is a repeating. So we had to predict the decimal expansion of 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 6 by 7 without doing a long division. See, one way to do is you actually expand this 2 by 7, right? So, we have 2 by 7, you expand this, this is a, you put a point, you get 2, and you get 7 into 14, 6, 7 into 8 is 56, then we have 40. 7 into 5 is 35 and 50 and then 7, 7 to 7 is 49 
then 10, 8, 7 into 1 is 7, 30, 7 into 4 is 28, then 20, and then again 7 into 2 is 14, 6, again the same chain starts, right? So one way is to do this way, but the question has asked not to use this. So what we can do is we can actually directly multiply this by 2. So if 1 by 7 is equal to 0.142857, in fact 2 by 7 is nothing but 2 into 0.142857. We can check that actually. Let's multiply 7 into 2 is 14, carry 1, 5 into 2 is 10, carry 1 is 11, carry 1. 8 into 2 16, carry 1, 17, and then carry 1, 2 into 2 is 4, plus the carried over 1 is 5, 4 into 2 is 8, 2 into 1 is 2, and there's a dot. This is what you will get. Let me see the calculation. 7 into 2 is 14, carry 1, 5 into 2 10, plus Carried 1 is 11, carry 1, 8 into 2, 2 is 16, and plus carried 1, 17, has to be 7. 17, carried 1, 2 into 2 is 4, plus 1 carried 5, there is no carry, 2 into 4 is 8, 2 into 1 is 2. Yeah, this is what you'll get. And if you see here, this is exactly the same as this. Right? This is one advantage of writing in this form with the bar. Similarly, 3 by 7, I can write as something well. 3 into 0.142857 with a bar. You actually solve it, you get 0 0.42857. 3 into 7 is 21. Carry 2. 5 into 3 is 15 plus carry 2 is 17. Carry 1. 8 into 3 is 24 plus 1 carry 25. 5 carry 2. 3 into 2 is 6 plus carry 2. 2, 6 plus 2 is 8, there is no carry, and then 3 into 4, 12, 1 carry, and then, yeah, 3 into 1, 3, plus 1 carry is 4. So this is what you get. Similarly, I can write 4 by 7 as nothing but 4 into 0.142857 with a bar. So you solve this. You can easily get 0 0.571428. Similarly, 5 by 7 will be 5 into this value because this value is 1 by 7. You solve this, you get 0 0.71428. Okay, similarly, 6 by 7, you can see that. Is nothing but you, you solve it, you get this value. It's pretty easy, just you have to multiply this number. But before multiplying, you have to understand that you can actually multiply, right? Because in this case, you multiply both the sides with 2, and you get the answer. Okay, thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.